Wolfies and OPI, this is Mitch Wyvern, and welcome to Hexagons. This is supposed to be the successor to Open Hexagon, apparently. Because last time that Vittorio Romeo has a release of Open Hexagon 2.0 was actually two to three years ago. And we don't know whether he's going to finish or not. He made a couple of recent announcements about it. But in the meantime, someone actually is has been developing a successor to Open Hexagon called Hexagons. If you actually want to download it for yourself, links in the description. It just hit public open beta today, so there is going to be a lot of bugs present in this game. But hopefully he will fix all of these out and we will have ourselves a new Open Hexagon that constantly gets updates. But I, these are my first time impressions that I'm already liking the splash screen that it gives. It gives a nice little splash screen. I like that. But let's hit start. So it says no maps are available. And that's because I have not downloaded the maps yet. Which I think is kind of strange that the maps do not come with the, in, with the launcher. But meanwhile, be right back. I'm going to get the maps. Alright, meanwhile, um, the maps are downloading because they're technically ports. So right now, I went, I went back onto the website and I currently see that you can make your own profile on here. Because they ha this game is supposed to have online leaderboards. Ever, for all of my life that I have played Open Hexagon 2, I have never been able to touch the online leaderboards because I was, like, I first started playing Open Hexagon just a couple of weeks after Open Hexagon 2 was released. So technically, he disabled the online leaderboards and I was never able to touch the online leaderboards, which kind of sucks. But Hexagons is meant to improve on Open Hexagon by providing an online leaderboard where you can um, compare scores that you got on levels to other people. So I think that's kind of a cool thing, and it also shows you some cool statistics and all that stuff. Alright, um, it now finished downloading, so let's head right back into the game, shall we? Alright, so I finally put the map into hexagons. It's actually not as easy as you think, alright? Just a little hint, make a folder and put the launcher in it before you open it for the first time so that way it doesn't put the assets inside your downloads folder. That's just a little hint for you guys. Oh, and by the way, when you go to options, um, none of the sliders work. Like, I've tried to drag them right now and none of them work, so I have Wow, this game is so unstable that when I actually tried to play a level, it actually unexpectedly quit. So I'm going to use screen recording mode for now because I really don't trust um, this game. Because again, it's a new game. It's going to have a lot of glitches. So, okay, that's just some things. I'm talking with the developer. Um, but as I was saying before... None of the sliders on this thing actually work. So if you actually want to change settings, you have to go into a notepad document called settings and then change the values that way. It's really annoying, but hopefully he fixes that soon. And also, um, if you guys are uh, already downloaded the game and are planning to play it for the first time, be sure to put the launcher in a folder. Otherwise, it's going to extrapolate all the assets and put them into the download folder. So be careful of um, where you um, grab, where you um, launch the launcher for the first time. But we can already see it's got a nice selection menu. Um, all right, let's do pie. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Alright, you died pr Okay, so... Finally playing something. Um, okay then. Alright. Oh! It keeps track of score in such a different way! 
instead of um doing a single second, it goes. You, it gives you a thousand points every second. Oh, and it counts how many times you retried. <laughs> it counts how many times you've retried. That's actually kind of clever. So that way some people who claim they do it for the first time, they can't bullshit it. That's actually kind of cool. Um, the cursor, the arrow thingy, as I like to call it, it's a lot closer to the circle. And I can already see that the skew on this is way better. The skew on this looks way more grand. Okay, let's actually try and not suck. Okay, some of the um, patterns are inaccurate. So I noticed that some of the patterns are inaccurate. But hopefully... But again, these are just ports. They're not exactly accurate per se. But hey... What am I gonna do about it? This is a remake. Also, this is supposed to be a clone of Open Hexagon, which was a clone of Super Hexagon. Cloneception! Okay. I should have said that at the beginning of the video, damn it. Oh no, wait! The score isn't determined by the time. I think you gain more score the longer you last. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, Jesus. But I, I, was, I was never really good at pie. I keep pressing the up arrow because that's what I'm used to in order to restart the level. Um, if you're watching this, um, developer, I really highly suggest that you should also add the up arrow key to restart. Because um, I always liked it. So that way I restored, um, did that quickly. Alright. So let's check out some of the other levels. Um, oh, accelerated biatches. Okay. Jesus Christ, Sly, you got 113,000? What is wrong with you? Okay, here we go. Let's go. Whee! Whoa! Look at that 3D effect. Like, holy crap! This 3D effect is really good. Like it look, the 3D effect looks significantly better. Like you can, it actually um looks more realistic than um Open Hexagon's um, 3D effect. I'm just pointing that out right now. Okay. Oh, fuck sake. <laughs> okay. So, to get on the leaderboard, you have to... It's determined by score, not by time. So I imagine as um, he adds difficulties, I imagine that a higher difficulty means a better score. Okay, I can see some of the colors are inaccurate, but whatever. Um, like, the contrast is not as good. Okay, oh Jesus. No. You are not killing me, not today. Woo. Oh. I didn't know it actually leveled up. I thought that progress bar actually was the level. Okay. Wait, why is that progress bar there anyway? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that crap means. Huh, maybe it is the level up thing. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's the level up thing. It's the level up progress. Okay. Um, let's not suck at this. Why do I suck at this? Like, come on. I'm super good at open hex gun. Why do I suck at this? For God's sake, man. Okay, here we go. So, you can touch the side of walls, that's for sure. I think it's because the arrow thing is a lot more sensitive to walls. Meanwhile, it's open hexagon. The arrow hitbox is only one pixel. So, I can tell that the arrow hitboxes are a lot more sensitive. Oh crap. Oh my god, I keep doing stupid mistakes! Okay, here we go. Let's do a paragon. Alright, here we go. 
Oh, Jesus. I remember how fast this level is. This new 3E effect, man. The new skew is in everything. I feel like I'm being alienated by a game I, on a game I'm so familiar with. Either that or I haven't played B in a long time. Okay. Nope. I was about to say, you're not getting me that time. Oh, Jesus. Why do I have a feeling that there's a perspective distortion? I don't know why. No. No, you will not get me. No. Okay, I gotta focus. Like, holy crap. Oh my god! Come on! Alright. Here we go. It's probably- it probably doesn't help that I'm commentating while playing this. Makes it a lot more difficult to play. If you guys haven't noticed already. Uh, uh. Stop with the- Ooh! There's some new patterns in this. I just saw a new pattern that I haven't seen before. Interesting. Okay. Either that or maybe it's another bug. Okay, I can tell that some of the music time marks are off, because I don't think it starts right from the beginning. I don't think it ever did, let's be honest. Okay. This limited vision, man. Okay. No, I can't maximize it, because if I maximize it, you guys won't be able to see the whole vision. Oh no! Let's try this. I haven't oh, seen this. Oh god. What the hell is this? I've never played this level before in my life. What is this? Um, okay. Oh. Why do we have- I, I feel like I have a more limited field of vision in this. What the hell? Spin though, that spin is so constant. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Yeah, this gives me a slightly uh, bigger field of vision. Why haven't I done this before? Alright, I'm gonna make the window bigger. I did not I hit start, motherfucker. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this is already way better. Ugh. Yeah, this is already way better than um, a smaller window version. Okay. Feels like I can see more of the map, but that's probably just me. Okay. Oh, I'm so stupid. This new, this new aesthetic shit. It's so much more typical with this new aesthetics. I'm just not used to it. Okay. Seriously, I feel like the new 3D effect is way more distorting. It's way more distorting by a long shot. Like, I'm not used to it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Fuck me, man. Alright. So, next season. Okay. Infamous. Infamous Dragon Mayhem. This is the infamous Dragon Mayhem. 
I'm pretty sure it never had a 3D skew, though. I'm just pointing that out right now. I don't think it ever had a 3D skew. Or I probably did and I just barely noticed, but this this skews a lot more than the original Dragon Man. Okay. So this is an infamous classic that I played before. Who doesn't remember this? And if you guys are new to my channel, you'll see why this is absolute and complete hell. Okay. So you can see that it's extremely easy right now. Like, this is no problem, right? Well, just wait. You'll see why. Okay. I've actually gotten a lot better at fast spinning levels. I've actually gotten way better at it. Whoa! It doesn't match with the music whatsoever. I was expecting for it to start spinning right at the drop. Because that's how it was originally meant to be. But it didn't sync up with the music. Like, that's what threw me off. Is that it didn't go with the music. Okay. Well, whatever then. Well, that was a little bit unexpected, I would say. Alright, here we go. bad so far, not bad. Again, I feel like there are certain patterns that feel like don't really belong in um, certain levels, but hey, again, these are just boards, so you can't really criticize them too much. It's gonna start spinning now. There we go. Alright, here we go. I remember when I used to go, um, waddle my eyes. Well, spiral. Okay, um, I remember when I used to spin my eyes like crazy in order to match up with the damn walls because it spun so fast. I still kind of do that, but I've gotten better at faster rotation. Okay. Oh, Tifa. This gives me a heart attack. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. It does not feel good on me. This puts stress. Okay. Alright. Okay. Right. It's gonna start. Yep, it's about to switch. It was gonna switch direction. I knew it. Okay. Um, okay, it's going this way. Fucking spiral! Jesus Christ, spirals out of all the patterns scare me the most on fast rotation level. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck! Again, a spiral killed me. A spiral. <laughs> Fucking spirals. I hate them so much. Wait. Did it publish my score? <gasps> it didn't publish my score. What the fuck? Nah, nah, I'm trying this shit again. I beat the highest score. And it didn't publish my shit. That's so frustrating. I just, I, I just broke the high score on this, and it didn't submit it. Oh my god, that's frustrating. All right, oh my god. But again, this is a beta, so there's going to be glitches. But I think out of all the glitches so far in hexagons, that's gonna be one of the most frustrating ones. When you get number one on the leaderboard, and it doesn't submit, that's gotta be frustrating. My goodness. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Alright. What the- 
Okay, that's a glitch. Alright. Um, I'll have to use Power Director to edit. But I'm going to cut to the part when I start spinning like crazy again. Oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. Okay. Again, it doesn't sync with the music. I don't like that. It annoys me when it doesn't sync. I feel like that just makes it more unpredictable and much more difficult. My goodness. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, man, this is assaulting my senses. For God's sake. I swear to God, it's like this game is it levels intentionally sending out spirals. Like what the hell? Okay. What the fuck? Wait. I don't see the cursor. Where the fuck is the cursor at? Oh, I actually went the opposite direction. Alright, I'm making sure it publishes my shit. Fuck me. It, it says I haven't played. It says I haven't played. But really, I did... Kill me now. Okay. Fairy dust. Here we go. Oh! I like this 3D effect here. That's really good. I like it. Okay, here we go. This sounds like some Nintendo shit. Okay. Alright, here we go. Jesus. That 3D effect, though. My goodness. Alright, here we go. You call this a spin, bitch? This is not a spin! Compared to Dragon Mayhem, this is- This ain't shit! Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, you wall incrementing son of a bitch. You wall incrementer. Okay. Flattering shape. Normal level. Here we go. Let's see how good we can get at this level. Alright. So, when it comes to developing levels for this pack, the units are not exactly the same. So, he's going to be handing out conversions on how many units are in hexagons compared to a rotation unit in open hexagon because again they're substantially different but i like to see his take on this i love to see this game go into further development because i love i'm liking it already i'm just pointing that out there right now oh okay. Feels like an ordinary open hexagon experience. No joke. Okay. Except this fucking skew. I swear, every time it skews, I feel like it gives a perspective. I feel like there's a flaw on the on the perspective. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
I feel like there's a perspective. It's flawed as a perspective view to where it feels. It doesn't feel right. Like if some of you got open hexagon elite, get what I mean. Right now, you can. There's only a Java version of this, but he plans on making it a full executable for um, Windows and the Mac. I don't know about Linux though, because I'm planning on getting Linux soon, and I know that Open Hexagon, Open Hexagon is definitely not compatible with Linux. Um, and I don't. So if the developers watching this. Please try to make a compatibility for Linux when I do, um, dual boot with Linux. Over. I felt like that the spiral was going faster than the cursor. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. It says a pack. Oh, well, whatever. Synapse activation. So this level I've never seen before. I don't know what this level is, but let's give it a try, if you get what I mean. Alright. Oh, that fucking 3D effect. What the fuck? This fucking 3D effect. What the fuck is this? Oh, and those walls are... Very closely packed together. Holy shit. What the fuck? The walls are so tightly packed together. What the fuck? <laughs> this is bullshit. Oh my god. Uh... Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck this level, man. I feel like I've played Explosion again with this shit. I like how there's almost no spacing between any of the gauntlets whatsoever. Like, there's no proper spacing whatsoever. This is so fucking stupid. Oh, Jesus. The repetition fucking kills me. This fucking repetition. Seriously, I cannot keep a steady rhythm. It's like... It's like my fingers are not meant to do that. Like... Okay, fuck this piece of shit. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was Hexagons. Basically, um, it's in beta, of course. It's in beta, so of course there's a lot of bugs on it on this right now. There's lots of bugs on this. So if you guys um, want to give it a try for yourself, though, um, links in the description. But the link in the description will only get you the launcher. If you actually want to get the maps, um, you will have to go on the website and look around for it. I mean, I could give the description uh, link for that one, too, but hey, what's the point of that? I like I could, how I could just scroll through backgrounds in the menu. I could just do that. Okay. But, yeah. This is it. This is Machado Ivernon, signing out. Bye-bye. Alright, just one more thing of reference before I go. The reason why my scores were not saving was because of a login thing. If you press L, it takes you to this. So the game now should display my fucking profile. No wonder why I wasn't saving shit. For God's sake. I hate life.
But I'm coming for that score on this piece of shit. Okay, signing out. After making some records, I actually became the number two most ranked player on hexagons. But of course, this will change once the elites arrive. Oh god, the elites.